So uh, Internet Explorer 8, the release candidate. Uh, top things to look for and expect as you, as you download it and try it out. Uh, number one, the platform is complete. So if you're a developer and you've got a website, you should expect the final product to behave um, just like the release candidate. So you should try out your site, you should try out all your CSS, all your script, all your object model, uh, enjoy the developer tools. Number one, the platform's complete, try it out. Uh, number two, reliability, performance, and compatibility. Uh, we took a lot of data from how people were using beta 2 and we looked at the top performance issues, the top crashes and hangs, and we've done a lot of updates based on that data. And you should expect a much more reliable, perform and frankly compatible across the web as you visit sites experience. The, the third big change involves in private. Um, in private browsing is in private browsing, and in private filtering has changed a little bit. Uh, end users get a little bit more control. Uh, for example, how many sites, um, how many, uh, th there's more control around uh, how many third party sites will trigger in private filtering to be on. There's much clearer explanatory text. We took a lot of feedback from a lot of different groups around the industry uh, in adjusting in private. And then the, the last thing that I suggest looking for is all the fit and finish that went into the user uh, went into the user interface. I think people will notice that in the search dropdown, for example, it's a lot easier to try out different search engines and just flip between all the ones that you have installed, or performance in the address bar, and and how you see uh, results as you type them into the address bar. There are some uh, surprises we have hidden in the favorites bar as well. I hope you find them. And uh, other than that, please enjoy the release candidate. Thanks.